Kimbrell's drugstore is looking for a college guy to work weekends. Well, what would be the use in having money if I have to work weekends? I say the same thing every Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> Three of the actors who played on that classic 60s television show, My Three Sons, they're all joining us here in the studio tonight to talk about their lives both on and off the air. Should be fun. It's all coming up on the KTLA 5 Sunday edition. And we're going to have some special guests in the studio again tonight. We're being joined by My Three Sons, all of them. It all starts right now on the KTLA 5 Sunday edition. Good evening again and welcome to the KTLA 5 Sunday edition. I'm Mary Beth McDade. And I'm Rick Chambers. I love the song. It was a opening for this classic 60s TV show. It's about a single working father and his three sons. I've been whistling the theme song all day here in the newsroom. <laughs> Joining us now in the studio, the actors who played the three sons. We've got Stan Livingston, his real brother Barry is here as well, and of course Tim Considine joining us as well. It's all great to have you. 40 years since the show went off the air. Correct. You still get people recognize you on the streets all the time? Absolutely. Yeah, even in spite of the goatee. <laughs> or the goatee, lack a little of gray, hair. lack of hair. You, go, hey, you, you, you played Chip, so I let's was start chip. with you. This okay. is Stan. Uh, you were the only guy, the only brother, you were in every episode over 12 years. Every episode. I did the entire 12 years we did 300 uh, 380 episodes actually and the show went a phenomenal 12 years who would have guessed we yeah. never even knew if we were going back from one year to another you actually started off black and white then you made the transition to color. You went from CBS at first to ABC. Is that how it started? Uh, ABC to CBS. The other, AB, the other way around. Yeah. 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 Okay. And you were on, you, Tim, though, you were only in, what, the first five seasons? Five years. Five yeah. years of the show. I was in uh, only black and white except the one show <laughs> where they, uh, I agreed to do one of the colors yeah. so they could get rid of me. And Why did you leave, though? <laughs> we didn't Honestly, want them anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because I, I, you know, I was young and I was tired of doing the same thing over and over and over again. Yeah. When you do a series, you can't help but re repeat yourself in five years. You're sort of doing the same plots over again. Yeah. And I, I just wanted to be, I, I wasn't getting off, is the way to say it. Oh, there you go. You know, I gave them a year's notice. Uh, it, I said, it, you know, at the end of this year, I'm, I'm not coming back. I would have come back had I been able to direct. Yeah. Um, that would have been challenging and fun, but... Uh, Obviously, they didn't need me. They went on for, what, seven years without me. So, well, uh, we'll talk about what you've been doing over the last 40 years or so in a second. But, uh, Barry, you came in as Ernie, your character. But you had already been on a little bit, but then suddenly you became the adopted son. I, I was the relief pitcher in the bullpen, <laughs> waiting for the call. Yeah. Actually, Tim, strangely enough, wrote the, probably my, one of my best episodes yeah. that really introduced yeah. my character. I, yeah. I, it was a... Uh, an episode where I played a, a secret agent. This was at the height of oh, really? 007, yeah. and Ernie was popping out of trash cans and spying <laughs> on Chip or Robbie or somebody like that. But it was it was Tim. Who well, it was just it was me and my brother John Constantine, yeah. and he, yeah. he and I were a writing team. Yeah. And I'd have to say, John Stevens, who yeah. was our he was called a production manager for all intents and purposes. He was really a line producer uh, at the time. And he really helped us with it. I think it was his idea to make you like a 007 character. Cool. Yeah. What, what was yeah. it like for three child stars, basically, working in Hollywood at the time and kind of coming up because the hit was a smash all 12 years? Yeah, yeah I mean, it was, it was a real hit. Now, you have to remember, back in those days, there was only three networks. Unlike now, if you have a huge audience, I guess, on a network, you probably have 20 million. Yeah. It was 60 to 80 million people watching Everybody the show watched. back then. Yeah. yeah. Talk about Fred McMurray. He was great. You he know, was, I mean, he was the dad. He, he was he was the ultimate quintessential family man that's that's the show really was a sort of a, a mirror of what he wanted in his in his own home life straight as a string yeah fair but, yeah. you know uh, there, there are all kinds of things about his uh, being parsimonious and and he, but really he just didn't throw his money around for sure yeah that was a but very he was just a, uh, he was a, he was a really straight arrow guy. Uh, we want to show a quick clip in case some of the younger folks in the audience aren't familiar with the show. Take a look at this clip, and then we'll come right back to the studio. Boy, I'm broke. What else is new? Elise Hayes' birthday is the day after tomorrow, and the present I bought her really flattened me. Now I don't have any cash to take her out. Uh, Kimbrel's drugstore is looking for a college guy to work weekends. Well, what would be the use in having money if I have to work weekends? <laughs> All right, what happened to the fourth brother? Where is he? Uh, yeah, Burley, he, he broke, broke his leg broke, 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 recently, yeah, which is why you're not seeing him here. Yeah. Uh, he also went through a couple Uncle Charlies. 
We, we had, did. We had yeah. William Frawley, who was better yes. known as Fred Mertz. Yeah, and from he the, played uh, Bob, the Lucy Show. And he actually got into a, a state where he, he really wasn't able to continue. Just got older. And then you brought in... What they said, William Deverson. Well, William William Deverson. Deverson. They made yeah. him. He was kind of like Uncle Charlie's brother. Yeah, was brother. his brother. Yeah. But he, he, he was know, Uncle he was Charlie. Like, the other one was Bub. Bub. Okay. Yeah. They were both both great characters. A revolving door of Bubs and Uncle yeah. Charlie. <laughs> you know, well, he yeah. was the quintessential second banana in yeah. a lot of feature films. I mean, going back yeah. to the beginning of film, almost the jazz singer. Why was it that the the show was so successful. What was it about the show that grabbed everybody? It was, I think the one thing that was original about the show is that, is that it was three, it was a widower raising three boys all alone right. and, and it was an all-male household and that was, you know, that was kind of a unique twist on the, the family, sure. the, the, the nuclear family of, you know, the like the father knows best or right. Donna Reed. It, it was just something and, unique. And certainly Fred McMurray's presence. I mean, he was really the first movie star who became a television TV star, star. Yeah. and it was a huge risk for him. All right, let's go, let's go around the circle here, Stan. We'll start with you. What have you been doing for the last 40 years? What are you doing now? Uh, well, actually, I'm producing a movie called Barstow. Okay. Uh, produced a feature film called Checkers. So I, I basically work as a producer and director. Okay. And Barry, you've been doing stuff with Mad Men and stuff. I've been doing Mad Men. I see you're holding a really lovely yeah, well, looking, go ahead. You looking show it to the camera. book right here. <laughs> go ahead, give it a play. The importance <laughs> of being Ernie, a very shameless uh, self promotion here. But, uh, but you know, we're, this Friday, of course, is the My Three Sons well, Day. Well, I wanted in to Los talk Angeles. about that. The city Ooh, is honoring you and having yeah. a whole day called My Three Sons Day. Yes, it's It's got to make you feel good. Out of, amazing. Out of all the hundreds, amazing. what, thousands of shows that have been on television, it's, it's such an honor yeah. to suddenly, you know, have our show after all these years still uh, noticed and appreciated. Is it still it? running someplace in the world? Yeah, we're Me actually, TV, there's a, an upstart network, yeah. kind of like TV, like called Me TV, Memorable right. Entertainment TV, hmm. and we're a staple every morning on that, on that yeah. network. Well, if you have not seen it, uh, go to that network and, and watch My Three Sons. It's a terrific show, and we're so happy that yeah. you came in. And great luck. You're going to be at City Hall which day next week? It's Wednesday, the 16th. That's Wednesday? what I thought, Friday. too, yeah. Wednesday. Oh, okay. 16th. I, what do I, he just came back from Europe. Europe. Yeah. News <laughs> All right, so Wednesday you get your award. It's My Three Sons Day in, yep. in L.A. Yes. And we're just great uh, and glad that you came in. Oh, Thanks. So Thank three you Los so much. Angeles natives. Yes, we There you are, go. Uh, you yeah. don't find a lot of those Los anymore. Angeles natives. <laughs> None, too. We appreciate yeah. it, guys. Thank you.